we need to find the sum of all natural numbers n such that 100 is smaller than n is less than 200 means between 100 and 200 where n is a natural number and hcf of the numbers 91 and n should be greater than 1 so if 91 so we can say 91 is equal to 13 into 7 so 13 is a prime number and 7 is also prime number so to get the hcf 91 and n greater than 1 so n must be so we can say n must be a multiple of multiple of thirteen or n or seven. Let's find the multiples of seven. Multiples of seven between hundred and two hundred are between hundred and two hundred. We can take so first number one out five and then one out five plus seven one to l. And so on, the last number can be taken 196. So we can say that the numbers are it's a 7, we can say 7, 7 15s are here, and again here 7, 7 2s are 14, and 7 8s are 56. So 15th term is 105, and 28th term is 196. So the total number of terms are here. So I can write number of terms is equal to 28 minus 15 plus 1. So that is 13 plus 1, 14. So 14 numbers are there. So the sum of 14 numbers, sum of 14 numbers between 100 and 200, which are multiples of uh, 7, is equal to so by using the formula sn is equal to n by 2 so first term plus last term so 14 upon 2 times first term is 105 and the last term is 196 so which is equal to 7 into so we can write here 96 plus 5 so 96 plus 5 is a 201 so we can write 307 so 7 into 307 we can get 2100 and sorry this is 301 196 plus 5 96 plus 5 is uh, 201 plus 1 301 so 301 into 7 so we'll be getting 2107 similarly multiples of 13 between 100 and 200 So we can start with the number 104 and then plus 13 that is 117. So 117 and so on. The last number we can take 195. Similarly here 104 when divided with 13. 13 8 times is 13 8 is a 104 and here 13. 13 15 times. So total. So number of terms are here number of terms is equal to 15 minus 8 plus 1 that is 7 plus 1 8 so 8 terms are there therefore sum of 8 numbers is equal to 8 divided by 2 first number is 104 and the last number is 195 so it is 4 into so we can write 299 so 1200 minus 4 is 1196 so 1196 numbers are there and now also we may consider the multiples of uh, 13 and 7 91 because 91 multiples has common in both multiples of 91 are so we can write 91 182 
and here we can write 273 so we can find that there is only one number which is between 100 and 200 182 so this is included in both multiples of 7 and multiples of 13 so we need to subtract it so therefore the total sum is equal to total sum is equal to 2107 plus 1196 minus 182 So by simplifying, you will be getting the answer 3,121. So which is our option D. So we can go with an answer D.